that's all this spec you see here is from one of the data sheets um, of a microcontroller basically a 32 bit microcontroller which mentions bit time insertion in timer counter specification so for a beginner uh, just to understand what is dead time insertion insertion basically dead time insertion is used in uh, microcontrollers <coughs> Uh, sorry, uh, in uh, motor applications when you are using pulse width modulation to control your MOSFETs. So what is pulse width modulation and uh, how do you do, how do you control them? That's what uh, as a beginner you need to know, right? Let us have a look at it. We uh, in motors have uh, something called <coughs> pulse width modulation which is used to drive the motors so how do we use it so basically let us assume if this is a motor and if, if this is your microcontroller we have something in between which is called a driver circuit or it can also be called a bridge circuit to drive the motors so why do we need this is when you are driving a microcontroller you will generally have 3.3 volts right or 5 volts or 1.8 volt whatever so now we use 3.3 volt microcontroller to drive this uh, um, <coughs> section and uh, here to the supply right we can give um, the maximum voltage that is uh, supported by the windings of this motor like example we can have 12 volts dc motors we can have 24 volts dc motors we can have 48 volts dc motors so uh, by applying a pwm control and then uh, driving the mosfets through that control we can generate the motors we we can uh, run the motor right that's the simple thing now, what does this circuit constitute? So, this circuit constitutes two MOSFETs, okay, and it looks like this. This is called a uh, bridge configuration. Now, when you have two MOSFETs like this, okay, and then you have try, uh, gate control here again and the output of this will be connected to one of the winding the output of this will be connected to another winding let us say this is x and uh, um, this is x and this is y and these both can be connected to 12 volts for example okay and you connect these to the windings of the motor so this simple configuration here is called a hedge bridge configuration okay now why are we talking about all this? We are talking about dead band, right? Insertion um, that is present as a feature in timers, right? Why do we need dead band for uh, dead band insertion? For this uh, can be known only by getting to know uh, how this MOSFET is controlled. So, as we said, this MOSFET is controlled using PWM, and this PWM is generated by the timer inside. So, now what is actually dead band? Now, how does this work is, actually when this MOSFET is on, this MOSFET will be off, for example, okay. Similarly, when another MOSFET is on here, uh, one MOSFET is on, the other MOSFET will be off, okay. Like, uh, when this is on, <coughs> the next MOSFET will be off. So, um, there are combinations of these that can be applied using the PWM. Now, let us understand a state where both the MOSFETs are turned on at the same time. Okay, so that means this is turned on and this is also turned on, for example. Now, what happens is the supply gets shorted to ground directly. Right? Or if this MOSFET is turned on and this MOSFET is turned on through the windings, that is 
an expected behavior because windings will have some resistance it will draw more current but the mosfets in the same uh, configuration should not get shorted at any moment for this when you have a uh, signal that is provided to turn on something the next mosfet should have a signal provided to turn on after some delay they should not turn on at the same time that means these two should not turn on at the same time instant there should be some delay td between turning on turning uh, on the mosfet <coughs> or basically it should not be this way actually it should be here before uh, after turning off you should have some delay and then you should turn on the next mosfet uh, so that the first mosfet is off and uh, the second MOSFET is on, so that means there is a gap between um, the time first MOSFET is off and the second MOSFET is on. This time, what we are seeing is called <coughs> dead band insertion. So this is introduced automatically by the particular microcontroller that we have seen uh, when you operate this. So when you use those particular <coughs> PWM outputs of that microcontroller. So that's the feature that is inside the microcontroller. Uh, uh, if this feature is not present, we as a programmers has to generate the delay and uh, um, we know right, accurately generating that delay between the waveforms could lead to different uh, different uh, timing scenarios which are hard to control. Now this is being done by the internal timer module itself. That means you are having a regular uh, dead time insertion in the PWM output that is generated which is helping us um, to have a clear turn on turn off scenarios avoiding the short uh, power and the ground uh, shorting scenarios uh, and hence helping the motor to run safely without getting burnt. So that's where the dead time insertion comes into picture and uh, this basically is for driving the gate of the MOSFET that is being used in a simple H-bridge configuration or it can be a three-phase configuration uh, whatever uh, the dead time insertion is very very important to avoid uh, the failure or fault scenarios or we can say short circuit current scenarios uh, that might occur while switching uh, these MOSFETs. So um, if it is inbuilt and if you are selecting microcontroller which has an inbuilt option that means this is suitable for um, the motor control applications. Hope we gave a glimpse of what is dead time insertion. Please post if you have any questions. Thank you.